In Activity 5, a paperclip switch, students learn all about switches. Students first construct a switch, then place the switch in a circuit, and finally trace the path of electric current through the circuit. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 5, Activity Sheet 2 from Activity 2, Battery Holders, D-Cell Batteries, Number 48 Flashlight Bulbs, Bulb Holders, Electrical Clips, Paper Clips, Paper Fasteners, 15 cm insulated copper wire pieces, 22 cm by 28 cm cardboard, a roll of masking tape, a roll of insulated copper wire, and wire cutters. You will also need to provide a pair of scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 5 for each student and redistribute each student's copy of Activity Sheet 2. Cut the sheets of cardboard into 6 cm by 6 cm squares. Each team of two will need one cardboard square, battery, one battery holder, two electrical clips, one bulb, one bulb holder, one paper clip, two paper fasteners, three pieces of wire, and access to the roll of tape. To begin the activity, construct a simple one battery, one bulb circuit. Ask students, how can you make the bulb stop glowing? Students should recall that opening the circuit will make the bulb stop glowing. Pull the wire from one of the electrical clips and ask, why does opening the circuit make the bulb go out? Students should remember that opening the circuit stops the flow of the electric current. Then ask, do you think that there is an easier way to open and close a circuit? Someone may suggest a switch, such as a light switch. Explain that a switch is a device designed to make the repeated opening and closing of circuits easier. Then, show the class the symbol for a switch. Distribute student copies of Activity Sheet 2 to each student and instruct them to add the switch symbol to the chart of electrical symbols at the top of the sheet. Next, draw a circuit diagram, then modify the circuit diagram to include a switch. Point out that with the addition of the switch, one more piece of wire is needed. Then, demonstrate how to attach a switch to the circuit. Disconnect the wire from one of the electrical clips and wrap the end around the head of a paper fastener. Using a pencil, make two small holes in the center of the cardboard three centimeters apart. Push the fastener through one of the holes in the cardboard and spread the ends on the underside of the cardboard so that the wire is sandwiched between the cardboard and the head of the fastener. Then, connect one end of the new third wire to the now empty electrical clip on one side of the battery and wrap the other end of the wire around the head of the other paper fastener. Push the fastener through one end of the paper clip and through the other hole in the cardboard. Spread the ends as before. Use tape to hold down the ends of the paper fasteners. Next, distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 5 to each student and the materials to each team. Then, instruct students to construct their own one battery, one bulb circuit with a switch. As students assemble their switches, circulate around the room and offer help as needed. Once the switches are complete, allow time for students to experiment with them. Make sure students follow the directions on their activity sheets and remind them to record their observations. When the students have completed their activity sheets, ask, why did the bulb go on and off when the switch was closed and opened? Students should realize that the switch closed and opened the circuit, allowing the electric current to flow and then causing it to stop. The bulb went on when the current was flowing and went off when the current stopped. Encourage students to think about the importance of switches in our everyday world and how they allow us to easily control the flow of electric current in everything from heavy machinery to household lighting. Finally, inform students that in the next activity, Solid Conductors, they will learn about how different materials conduct electricity. To conclude the activity, have students return all batteries, battery holders, electrical clips, bulbs, bulb holders, and wires to the kit. Return the switch assemblies with a wire attached to each to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.